The Ukrainian military has regained previously lost positions near the city of Pokrovsk, Donetsk region. The U.S. Institute for the Study of War says so. Geolocation images published on September 2 show that the defense forces of Ukraine have regained their positions in the southwest of Novogradivka. Ukrainian forces have regained recently lost positions southeast of Pokrovsk against the backdrop of Russia's continued tactical success in the region, analysts said. By the way, according to the military political analyst Alexander Kovalenko, the Russian invaders did not continue their movement towards Pokrovsk, but instead formed the southern flank. The publication particularly emphasizes that next to the Ukrainian dugouts there is a powerful army group of the Russian armed forces, whose personnel may be at least 10,000 fighters. And it is this brigade that is moving along the Ukrainian flanks, trying to bypass the Ukrainian defensive fortifications located in the area of the Memrik settlement and the Valkia River massif. This move by the Russian general staff has created a deep bulge in the direction of our own positions, and if the Russian army manages to cut the neck of the bulge, the cauldron will be officially closed. The publication particularly emphasizes that next to the Ukrainian dugouts there is a powerful army group of the Russian armed forces, whose personnel may be at least 10,000 fighters. And it is this brigade that is moving along the Ukrainian flanks, trying to bypass the Ukrainian defensive fortifications located in the area of the Memrik settlement and the Valkia River massif. This move by the Russian general staff has created a deep bulge in the direction of our own positions, and if the Russian army manages to cut the neck of the bulge, the cauldron will be officially closed. The American press listed who could be surrounded, units of the 59th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Rangers of the 68th Brigade, part of the 117th Troops Brigade and, finally, units of the 15th Brigade of the National Guard. And as the authors of the publication reminded once again, the best solution would be to give the order to retreat not tomorrow or in a week, but yesterday, otherwise, the advanced detachments of Russian attack aircraft will cut off the supply and retreat routes. This point of view was expressed by expert analysts from the conflict intelligence team. Ukraine is fighting for Donbass because of the region's vast natural resources, which Kiev and its foreign backers want to exploit. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev said, The Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics, which officially joined Russia together with Kherson and Zaporozhye regions in the fall of 2022, are completely alien to Ukraine in terms of culture. Medvedev wrote on Telegram, the reason why the Kiev authorities are trying to get them back so desperately, he explained, is trivial. Money is needed. The criminal clique of Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky, which has stolen so heavily, has led the country's economy to disaster, while Kiev's backers in the US and EU have also spent a lot on aiding Ukraine during conflict, which irritates their populations. Medvedev, who serves as deputy chair of the Russian Security Council, also pointed out. The West needs a payback from Ukraine, he said, adding that it has nothing to do with Zelensky personally. This kid will be gone soon, but the debt will remain, and it must be paid off with interest, the former president noted. Medvedev reminded readers that according to open source data, the natural resources located in Donbass are estimated to be worth $7.3 trillion. The area is rich in coal, metals, rare earth elements, and other valuable materials, including lithium. To get access to the coveted minerals, the Western parasites shamelessly demand that their wards in Kiev wage war to the last Ukrainian, he wrote. Russia says that Western politicians are directly voicing their plans, the official said, referring to a statement made by South Carolina's Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. In June, the Republican lawmaker called Ukraine a gold mine due to its vast reserve of critical minerals. Graham argued that Washington should keep helping Kyiv in the conflict with Moscow to make sure that assets could be used by Ukraine and the West, not given to Putin and China. With the Russian military making steady gains in Donbass since the start of the year and now approaching the strategic town of Pokrovsk, the fact remains that the economic basis of Ukrainian statehood has been undermined, Medvedev wrote. 
the resource base that had been illegally obtained by Kiev after the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 has returned to its native country, which is Russia, he said. As for Ukraine, the Western aid it gets will soon dry up and all that awaits the country is rapid decomposition and imminent disintegration. The former president concluded,